Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install YouTube on a Fire Amazon tablet. This is a HD8 and this one has the YouTube already installed and it actually has all the Google stuff like the Play Store and I'm actually signed into it so I get to use all the customizations that I need. So let me show you here that YouTube actually works. So there you go guys, you can see the YouTube's on there. And if I click on my profile, well, well, here you can see the video actually works. So anyways guys, so I'm going to show you how to get your Amazon to work with YouTube. So it's actually not as complicated as I thought. I did have to dig through forms to make this work, but it's actually pretty simple. It's as simple as installing some files and then updating your Google services and everything and it should start working. So. I have two of these pads. These are actually the kids pads. Um, I'm going to be using this one for demonstration. I already converted this one. So we're going to use this one as the next conversion one. So what we're going to do is you're going to go to the app store first and you're going to download ES File Explorer. It comes up with this one you push ES. So that's it right there. So you're going to go ahead and download that. So the reason you need this is because this is how you're going to open your files that you're going to bring into the pad. All right, so now that that's installed, we have it right here on apps. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to bring in the files into the pad here, which I will have a link in the description. So you either need to download them to your computer and then connect this to the computer and put them on here or you know email them to yourself somehow or however else you can do it but get the files on here so the way I'm gonna do it is what probably most people will be doing is I'll be using a computer to bring him into here alright guys so we're gonna be using this old laptop of mine here and uh, all you gotta do is just plug in your fire and then you'll have this screen pop up here once you get connected so you're gonna open the devices here okay so here you have internal storage so you'll go to that and then you'll scroll down into the downloads here and you'll open that and then once you get the files downloaded into your computer from the link that I provided you guys it's going to be called uh, Fire Google Play and it's going to have four of these APK files so you're going to select them all four and drag them into the download folder on your Fire so once they're on there you're done so now you have those files inside the pad. So at this point you're done with the computer and you don't need this anymore. So now we can go to the pad. You're gonna go down to the ES file that you downloaded earlier. Open that up and then you're going to go to your downloads folder. Okay here we go it says new files right here. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna install the the two red ones and then the and then this one and ultimately that one last. So I'm going to go ahead and install this one here first. So this is for the Amazon. Okay, so it's telling us that it's blocked. You know, there, it doesn't want us to use the external apps. So we are going to change that right here. We're going to enable unknown sources. So once you do that, just go back. Click on it again. Install. Next. Alright, so that's installing. And you want to install everything on here before you open anything. Okay, so it's apps installed, so that was pretty simple. Go to your next one. Install. So that was pretty simple. So, so far as you guys can see, it's not very hard. We're just installing files here. So next you want to install the, uh, the Google one. Not the Play Store, but the Play Services. This one's going to take a little longer because there are a lot bigger files. Alright, so that's finally installed. And do not click open. Done. Alright, and then the last thing you want to install is the Google Play Store. So this one's going to take a little bit of time too. Alright, so that's done. So don't open that either. So what you're going to do is you're going to restart or turn it off and then restart the pad. So once it turns off, power back on. All right, guys, so once it restarts and you go back in, you are ready to use your new apps here. 
So you got the Google Play Store here, and you're gonna click on that. And here you're gonna go through the login, where you're gonna log in into your Google account. All right, so you're gonna accept everything that you gotta accept in there. So basically you're just logging in. And that's it guys, we're in. We're inside Google Play. It's as simple as that guys, so we're ready to roll. So obviously if you want YouTube, you just click in you. Tube, and there you have YouTube. Install it. All right, so once this installs, guys, you're ready to use YouTube. Okay, so this actually happened on the other iPad. I forgot about this, but uh, the Google Play services is actually outdated from the other file that you downloaded, so you need to update that. So you can go ahead and do it this way, download the YouTube, and then, you know, it'll prompt you to update this. But there's no issues, it just needs to update it and then it'll all work. So let's just go ahead and close everything because we're still waiting for the, uh, for the update to finish here. There's a little error here that it's still updating. Alright, so now that it's done installing, let's try to open YouTube again. All right, and we're in, and you can see there in the corner, there's my little face there, so we're in. And this is actually for me, if I go to subscriptions, you can see that this is what I'm subscribed to. <laughs> so, and if we wanna play a video, let's see, by Adam here, LZ. We get an ad, I guess we're gonna let Adam have this one. Gotta support our YouTubers, right? All right, so now What's you can guys? see, there you go. So there you go guys, it actually works. So there you go guys, it's pretty amazing. Anyways, everything works great, as you can see. Um, now there might be a little bit of conflict between the Google Play and the uh, Amazon, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. So I don't really care about the Amazon because that's not what I'm using it for, mostly. So let's just download one more thing. So you guys can see that, mul that it's not just YouTube, but anything could work. We can download the uh, YouTube Studios here, which I use. All right, it's downloaded. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. My main one. And as you can see, all my information's here. I can answer questions and do whatever I gotta do straight from this pad now. So I use this for my camera to sync and the uh, other pad already has it. So it worked great. So I'm finding that so far everything I've tried, not too many things have worked. So, But you can experiment with, with it yourself and uh, hopefully you can get whatever you want. But the main thing is here is YouTube and that works. And uh, that's the point of this video. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this helped you. And uh, if you have any questions, I guess ask. Uh, at this point, it's working right now. I'm not sure how long this is going to work like this. I know YouTube and, or should I say Google and Amazon are not friends right now. And they don't want, uh, Amazon doesn't want you to use Google services on their pads. If this helped you, hit that like button and go ahead and share this with somebody. Also guys, if you like this content and you want to see more of my stuff, check out my videos on this channel and also subscribe if you're not to stay up to date. Alright guys, and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.